Hi guys, it is another gloomy, smoky, yuck Monday morning here in the collapse. That would be Monday, July 17th, 2023. Uh, so after the rant I just did, I remember I have to go to Walmart to uh, do my part to, for planetary collapse today. But before I go, I notice my camera battery is blinking so uh, once again as i've done many times i just want to share some poetry i guess this is from the poet laureate of uh not exactly poetry but i would consider it poetry peter lind peter lind not sure who this man is but uh we're going to call him the poet laureate of the doomosphere and this is what, how, what is on Peter's mind today. Uh, this is his response to the essay that I, by B that I read yesterday titled, Reality Doesn't Give the Slightest Shit. What gives us a, 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 gives us a, a hope. All right, take it away. Peter Lind, before my battery collapses, <clears throat> the grand descending spiral of doom. <clears throat> it is all winding downhill, <clears throat> faster and faster, in tighter and tighter turns. A dance of madness performed by an ensemble of the insane. <clears throat> the perilous rock bottom may not yet be in sight, but the sheer rate of descent must surely worry some and alarm others. At this state of drop, the hard limit of immutable bedrock will soon be reached with a shockingly unpleasant impact. <clears throat> but in the meantime, enjoy the ride to the bottom as if you were a clueless moron millionaire who just purchased a $250,000 ticket on a jury-rigged submersible bound for the dark abyss to visit the sunken tombs of the already dead. However and whenever you choose to visit the ultimate bottom of existence, the pressure of the world above will descend upon your hapless head implacably and irresistibly and crush your foolish misconceptions like a carbon fiber coffin. The folly of mankind is that we delude ourselves into thinking that we know better that we can do better. But in the end, we know nothing of any significance and the laws of physics will bear witness to our sad delusions. At some point during the celebration, the music will come to an end. <clears throat> the lights will go out and everyone will have to pay the piper. What dance did you dance while the music wailed on and the dancer spiraled hypnotically down into the surrounding gloom? Was a smile of joy upon your hollow face as the droning dirge of the dance macabre resonated shrilly in your ears? We did it all for the sake of our pleasures, and we dance ourselves to the edge of oblivion. And in the aftermath of our party, when nobody is left to clean up our mess, the dance floor itself, the grand stage, will rise from its passive silence and sweep away our party favors 
and our empty champagne glasses with an expression of delighted happiness and a sigh of relief. Thank God that party is over. I don't know what all the noise was about, but at last they have fallen silent. <laughs> Thank you, Peter Lind, for uh, starting off another week in the collapse of everything as the smoke rolls in like a soggy gray blanket. Uh, get out there and enjoy your dance macabre while you still can. I am going to dance off to Walmart as my part of <clears throat> celebrating the insanity. Bye, guys.